Alright guys, here we are at the Conquer River for the Bass Assassins. It's going to be a hot day. It's already warm right now. It's going to be really hot today. Uh, it's going to be sunny day. I think we've got an incoming tide. It's going to be a little rough this morning. But it should be fun. Hopefully we'll have a good day like we had out there and uh, out of Crawford's. Alrighty guys, first spot. I don't think I'm gonna stay here long. Just wanted to check it out. A uh, little spot, a little pocket here that sometimes holds some fish in the morning, especially springtime. But I know it's not spring. Usually though, the fish that are here are pretty decent. So it's worth a shot. Something look at it. There he is. It might be number one, I don't know. Nope, not number one. He's small. Thank you, though, bud. Well, like I was saying, most of them are usually decent size. I think he was lost. Gotta go. We gotta go to Bulkhead or something this morning. Something else. I'm just playing around with it. Oh no, no. That was not a perch. About to say that was a perch, but it wasn't. But he felt it, so he might not be hitting again. Oh, I see him. It's a gar. I see him. I think that's a gar. I think that was a gar. There's no tidal movement at all. Parallel this bulkhead here. Something's coming out after it. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. And I lost. No, I still got him. Don't jump, baby. Don't jump. Don't jump. Okay. Got a good fish on. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. He's hooked pretty good. Get up in here. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Number one. There was more fish there. I feel like there's more fish there. I saw one kind of following it, and then he came out of nowhere from the side. That'll get your pumping. Wow. I thought I lost him. I thought he... Oh, he come off. That one come off. God dang it. Oh. Oh. Come on, baby. Please hit it again. I doubt he will. Oh, that was
was another nice one. Can't lose fish like that and win a tournament. Can't do it. He hit it like it was going out of style. They're attacking it so hard that it might not really matter what it is. I'm gonna throw the frog. Because generally you hook one with a frog, you've got them. They don't usually get off. Oh, get, get, mm, mm. Dang it. Oh. Foul hook, but he's a keeper. He's foul hook, but he's a keeper. Look at that beautiful spot. Spot bass right there, beautiful. Oh, I don't know what that was. I have no clue what that was, but I don't think that was a bass. Oh my goodness. I hope it wasn't a bass, because if it was, that was a sheer giant. I don't know, he hit like a bass. <clears throat> Why am I losing fish, Chris? Can't keep losing fish. That was a big fish. Damn, come on. What the hell? They're short striking everything today. That fish I caught right over there, he short struck it. And I'm getting foul hooked. Keeper. That's a keeper. Pretty sure that's a keeper. Yep, he's a keeper. Number three. He's number three. 
I had to fish him through that maze of stuff. <laughs> Choke bug. Not the, the only thing I can get a decent bite on. And it's scary because you lose a lot of fish on a choke bug. But they don't want nothing fast. Alright, that's fish number three. So what that tells me, or what that what that helps me decide on is I don't see me going south to fish deep for two little keepers. I think what I'm going to do is stick it out up here where I'm sure there's better fish or feel like there's better fish. And catch my two, two more fish. Fish. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a bass. Don't think it's a bass. I hope it is. Nope, it's a shoe pick. Big old shoe pick. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Bass would have come off a dozen times by now. Come on. Be alive. Oh, he don't make it. He don't make it. Oh. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little video. As you saw, started the morning off with a top water bite. Caught one on a chuck on a. I'm sorry, on a frog. And then I caught a good one on a chug bug and lost one. The only thing I could really get them to bite and catch them on was the chug bug, mainly because of the short striking. They were short striking the frog so much that I couldn't hook them. I wanted them to bite the frog. I wanted to catch them on that frog because generally when you hook one on a frog, you've got them. You're going to get them in a the boat. On a chug bug, there's a lot of them get off. But they were short striking so much that the chug bug with its, with its treble hooks was hanging a few of them. I tried chatter baits, I tried spinner baits, I tried crank baits, I tried buzz baits, I tried all the reaction bites, baits, to be able to try to make them react and, and get some more fish caught that way. But they weren't having it. 
not a, you know during the morning they weren't having it. They only wanted that chug bug, or they only wanted top water, and mainly the chug bug. I was able to catch a few on it, and later in the day when the boat traffic picked up and the waves were beating against the bank, I was able to go up there with a chatterbait and catch a couple little ones. But it was by then it was too late. I really couldn't do anything. It was time to go to the weigh-in. So it wasn't the worst day. I ended up with three fish for 5-2. Um, 815 won it. So I ended up ninth place out of 12 boats. Like I said, it wasn't the worst day. It wasn't the best day. But it was a day out fishing. Thank you guys for watching it. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. I'll see you guys next time.